Hey folks, everything new under the sun. I've spoken to you before about my uh, off-grid solar power system. It worked excellent in Hurricane Fiona. I am in the Maritimes, Canada. Hurricane Fiona hit us hard and we were without, were, were without power for, I think it was three days and we were some of the lucky ones. Uh, there were people lined up the day after uh, at gas stations um, a kilometer long carrying jerry cans, um, the, um, uh, the methods of payment, the digital methods of payment, Interact uh, credit card, were all down because the internet was down. Uh, it was cash only. And uh, I was driving by taking photos of this stuff, and I actually have videos of it. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to put a, a video together of uh, maybe that. I think I, I have, have one in my library about that. Um, but we were driving by just taking a look at the damage, and uh, I didn't need to stop for gas. And that's because we had this, this off-grid um, solar power system. Uh, and, uh, and it's, it's not only to help you, you know, in times of hurricanes, etc. It also helps you with price inflation as electricity prices increase, uh, as the price of energy increases, gasoline, even you don't want to be running a generator. Um, and you know, if you can get free energy, why not? Now, the biggest uh, downside to this is of course, some of the higher priced, uh, uh price of, uh, grid tie systems and such. And um, so I just want to show you kind of what I have, walk you through what I have and, uh, and just give the advantages of it. Uh, and uh, so that what you're looking at here is the, this is Signature Solar. I'm, I'm on SignatureSolar.com. I chose to go with Signature Solar, Solar which is a U.S. company. Um, they have warehouses in the U.S. Um, the, the products are still generally Chinese made, but I think more designed, uh, at least input provided by uh, this American company and the biggest thing is that supports provided so my system ex uh, uh, consists of one EG4 3 kilowatt off-grid inverter uh, it is fed by a EG4 LL server rack battery one single battery 100 amp hour which is uh, five kilowatt hours now this isn't quite enough to run our whole household with you know three kids uh, washing machines dryers but it's enough to get you off, uh, you know, get a get a sub panel going, uh, get a lot of your circuits off grid, etc. And these are some of the cheapest prices. Now, some people go for uh, EcoFlow Deltas, uh, Blue Eddy devices. Those are well and good, and those are plug and play, and those work for some. But uh, they're expensive per kilowatt hour. Not only that, but the solar panels they sell with them are really expensive. Now you can plug in. Uh, in most for most of them any mc4 uh, connector solar panel um, but there everything's overpriced with those things you pay a lot because it's all in one there's nothing you can work on now the full diy method would be well let's build our own battery out of raw life po4 cells and uh, you know let's uh, buy a dedicated 48 volt inverter we'll plug that into a you know a control panel and uh, have a separate charge controller connected to the solar panels and you can do that but that's a little too far for many so the good the nice mid step the step in between kind of a, a prosumer blue eddy uh, ecoflow delta which is all in one and if it blows up you're out of luck because everything's in one the next step up would be getting a battery and a charge controller like this from Signature Solar. Now they provide bigger ones, so they provide a 6,500 6, watt unit, they provide an 18,000 watt unit, but you, you get what you pay for. You know, you, if you want to keep prices lower, um, you get some of these small units, start small. The nice thing about this is, is if you start small with a 3,000 watt, you put a couple of house circuits on it, all of a sudden you can, uh, if you're finding that you need more power, which I'm getting to the point of, you can buy another one of these units and put them in parallel. And even up to, I think it's 12 in parallel. Uh, I might, you might have to fact check me on that. But you can put 12 in parallel. And this one only does 120 volts. But if you have two or more, you can have split phase configuration. So you put them in parallel. And, uh, and each one runs um, one of the posts in, uh, in the sub panel. And then connecting the two posts, you get your 240 volts, which is then uh, good enough to power uh, you know, hot water heaters, dryers, etc. Uh, now you're going to have to uh, uh, consider the, the the size of your system based on 
your needs, your family, etc. Um, but this is very accessible. Uh, you know, six, $674 US. By the way, if you ask uh, them for refurbished units, they may come back and say, well, we have three re refurbished units or returned units in stock, and here's the price we're willing to sell those at. And you do get a bit of a discount. So I do encourage you to ask for a refurb. I just happen to do that out of a, on a whim. Uh, I don't know if they sell it on the site, to be honest. Um, but anyways, um, they do have refurb units. And, and specifically to this one, when I asked, there was five or six of them, which is uh, quite interesting. Um, so I have, uh, basically, I have this three kilowatt unit plugged into this uh, five um, kilowatt hour um, a battery. It's server rack. It's all in one. You've got a screen on the front. You've got uh, breakers in it. You've got a couple of uh, lugs for the negative and positive. And it's nicely uh, put together. Uh, you know, a very, very safe. Uh, this even has, I believe, it has uh, a heating pad in it for low temperature. Um, again, you can, you can check out the, the specs and get what you need. Uh, since mine sit in my basement, you know, underground, effectively, um, they're, uh, you know, uh, thermally uh, controlled by a geothermal energy, effectively. Uh, basically, if you, your basement is always, you know, 18 degrees Celsius, whatever it may be, again, geothermally, it's impacted by the, the uh, temperature of the earth. Um, so I don't need any hot or cold sort of uh, mechanisms to keep this uh, particular unit in line, uh, nor with the solar. So, but that's what I have. And then I have a three kilowatt solar array on top of it. Now, Signature Solar does sell solar panels as well, but you can buy solar panels anywhere. You can buy pallets from them, etc. Now, the nice thing about uh, Signature Solar is they will ship to Canada. You do have to ask for a custom quote, uh, and you will have to send them an email with your address. If you're in the U.S., you just fill out their form, buy it all online into your credit card, uh, bing, bang, boom, uh, and they're shipping it off to you. That works well. Nice thing about Signature Solar is they're all U.S. based support. So these guys do sell grow watts and uh, Schneider's. You know, there's a grow watt at the top there, a 12 kilowatt unit. Uh, there's my unit that I use, this little three kilowatt to get started. We have, they have an 18 kilowatt uh, kilowatt unit, uh, which is incredible, and uh, some other other various uh, units and companies. Uh, Victron even they sell Victron uh, hardware. Um, but the big thing is that they provide support for the products they sell. So if I have a problem with my, my EG4 uh, solar charge controller, if it fails, there's a three-year three warranty on it. It's been running for a one-year solid straight, uh, literally since uh, <clears throat> I think it was June last year. I've had this unit running. I've, I've overloaded it. It will handle 3,000 watts continuous. I've overloaded it to 3,200, 3,500 watts as there's some spikes related to um, well pumps and that sort of thing that, that come on this. And it, handle, it handles it fine. By the way, it, it, it handles a, I think it's a 1.5 horsepower well pump. Uh, and those, you know, those inductive loads, they load these high frequency inverters up huge amounts. Uh, but this one handles it. And as long as you've got a big enough battery that has enough current flow, and uh, these batteries uh, handle 100 amps at 48 volts, uh, of current flow, then you're good to go. And uh, it, it effectively powers all of our uh, household, uh, this battery and this charge controller, uh, except for our hot water heater and our dryer. Those are the only things. I've got our fridge on it, our freezer. When the power goes out um, in our community, we don't even notice. We have to look outside to the street lights, and if the street lights aren't on, then we start asking, you know, is the power out? Because we didn't notice it. Because our lights don't go off. It's pretty incredible. And it's a relatively cheap system you can get into. Uh, with the off-grid, you don't necessarily need uh, electricians and all that sort of thing in there installing it for you. Um, uh, you know, keep it up to code. Uh, keep it according to whatever's legal in your state or province or territory. Um, but these are very easy for uh, the, the pro pro ho, uh, pro ho uh, person, uh, as Wrangler Star says, the a uh, pro homeowner, professional homeowner. Uh, if you have a basic understanding of electricity um, and, and you're careful, um, then you can put together this system. Uh, you know, just again, be safe. 
know have some idea what you're doing you are working with electricity that uh, can potentially hurt you or even kill you if you do the wrong thing with it uh, but generally it's safe if you do it in the right order and watch Will Prose's videos on putting these things together but I'll just say that um, it, it's really good and I've had really good luck I've had no issues signature solar even so sells whole sets uh, so the charge controller the batteries and the solar panels all in a, a complete set and they'll ship the whole thing to you for a whole price so I mean if you're setting up an off-grid you know cabin cottage you get the whole unit everything you need uh, so that's pretty incredible in and of itself but if you want to do the DIY thing kind of put the pieces together yourself uh, you can do that as well you can buy your individual batteries one at a time as, as budget indicates you can add a, you know buy a couple of panels or buy a, a pallet of panels <clears throat> buy your charge controllers whatever it may be whatever your need is you can upgrade downgrade <clears throat> put these units in parallel to provide more power which is really nice it's very expandable now one thing I'm going to be going to uh, is um, doing a DIY battery by uh, using raw uh, lithium iron phosphate cells um, the things the the advantage to that is that you you do get it cheaper than some of these units but the disadvantage is you have to build it yourself it's it can be dangerous you don't get a nice fireproof case on it like you do with these server rack ones and you don't easily have the ability to kind of just buy one and plug it in it's it's a kind of plug and play you put on your uh, big old copper cables uh, in parallel with these you know multiple in the server rack and you can you can install these as you need them extra batteries extra charge controllers um, so there is something to be said for the server rack batteries and like I say these are um, a better value than an EcoFlow Delta you know a cost per kilowatt hour so if you're looking to save money but you don't go, want to go full uh, DIY I definitely recommend this now you can go to Cabin Depot I think it's cabindepot.ca if you're in Canada and get some uh, you, you can't get Signature Solar or EG4 products there but I believe you can get GrowWatt, Schneider, some other big name um, uh, hardware there but it's it's more expensive now by the time you add shipping and duty and uh, tax to these units out of the US it does come up to about the same but there is significant advantage to this now you might say well you know that that's a lot of money how could I get even get into solar well it's 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 a investment it's kind of a pill you need to swallow um, you know they say the, the the question is asked when is the best time to plant a tree and they say well 20 years ago why because when you plant it 20 years ago it doesn't seem like it's helpful to you you don't see any advantage to it there's no fruits there's no shade from it it's not doing anything um, but 20 years later all of a sudden you're getting fruit you get shade but you wouldn't have had that if you didn't start 20 years prior same way with kind of the solar off-grid stuff you kind of need to get into it now even small uh, design a system that you can build yourself and that's what I've done with this where I've picked components that I can buy one of now so one three kilowatt inverter uh, uh, charge controller and later on as we grow as I have more money more budget I can buy a second a third and grow my solar power system this will handle up to 5,000 watts uh, of uh, solar panels I've only got 3,000 watts in it so I have room to grow I can buy more panels and add more panels to it so if you start small start with a small system some basic stuff you can um, start your journey towards uh, effectively energy freedom and I think in the days that we're heading into uh, should the Lord tarry and uh, and prior to the Lord's return having a way to make energy yourself solar power yourself uh, or you know even if you want to use micro hydro with this you could plug in uh, a micro hydro if you have a river run through and use that to charge your battery then this charge controller works great you don't have to have this connected to the internet either you can have it in your basement not plugged into any internet not plugged into any monitoring etc now I have mine monitored with um, uh, oh what's it called uh, let's see solar assistant uh, I don't think I can show you that right now let me see if I can pull it up let me see if I can uh, pull up solar assistant um, here it is right here so this is this is solar assistant and yes it's a it's a, a tiny view there let me see. I'll see if I can make that bigger there we go 
So this is Solar System, and it shows the current state of uh, my system as is. Whoops, let me put that like there. Go like this. Now if I scroll down, you can see uh, there. Uh, so the red is when the grid turns on. Um, the yellow, you can see on the right-hand side, that's the sun. That's the sun pushing power, electricity through the solar panels into my battery and powering the system. Um, and uh, so you can see it's just noon here. And hopefully that'll be a nice bell curve of yellow. Um, but if the solar isn't enough, then it's not grid tied, but there is grid power coming into the bottom of the inverter. So you ha literally have a, a three prong plug uh, coming out of the inverter. You can you just build the cable yourself, and you can have uh, power coming into um, that to charge the battery when there's not enough solar or hydro, whatever it may be. And so it works as a complete off-grid system so I definitely recommend it that's kind of a, a little kind of overview of what I've done with my solar system the next video I'm gonna do a, a one-year follow-up on my hardware and you're gonna you're gonna be able to see the actual hardware in its running state where it is in my basement and I'll kind of discuss the, the setup as well but I wanted to uh, share uh, that with you I think it's uh, it's pretty neat this solar system is completely separate it's not sold on signaturesolar.com um, and if you are interested in uh, getting started, uh, one way you can support the channel is by uh, using my affiliate link. So I got an affiliate link with them. I was interested to, to get that because I do, uh, um, I have a, a couple of videos up about EG4 and, um, and that, will, that will help support me. If you want to buy their, some of their products, um, then you can click that link. It doesn't make it any more expensive for you, but if you're gonna buy one anyways uh, from Signature Solar, um, use that affiliate link which I'll put in the description and as a comment a tag comment uh, below this video but I highly recommend it uh, get get your products now these ship fast because they're in the United States so again if you're looking to get into off-grid power solar uh, if you have some EG4 units and you're looking to get another one uh, you know uh, maybe you can use my affiliate link and and get buy that extra battery again it doesn't cost you anything more um, uh, to do that so so please doing that, that would help me out. And um, uh, I'm able, uh, with with that cooperation, uh, um, I will be able to uh, get uh, uh, some units from them as well to uh, do some uh, videos on. I'm hoping at least to do a parallel uh, uh, EG4 uh, charge controller video because I already have one of these. Now, I will mention that I paid out of pocket uh, for these uh, originally when I got them, but they work so well, uh, to be honest, I decided to get my affiliate link now um, and and suggest that other people get EG4 because it's incredible. I haven't even had to use their uh, U.S. side North American uh, support because the units have literally been flawless. I have not had a problem. I have not tripped them uh, by overloading them. Um, it, they've just worked incredible, uh, to be honest. So I'll leave there. I won't drone on. But uh, again, if you are looking for solar stuff, um, this is the way I went. I found it very easy to get into expandable so you start with a small system buy what you can and then you can expand it at a later time as you get more money and you get more experience with it uh, like going from 120 volt to uh, you know 240 volt split phase setup you can start small and grow from there so I'll leave there guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video